it, it, he was never, uh, you know, considered a viable candidate because, and, and then he was. Right. Um, and I think it also gnaws at them. None of these guys, these business guys that I know, would ever put Donald Trump on their board of directors. They don't think he's smart enough. They don't like his business. They wouldn't even lend the money, when, you know, the Trump organization money. That's why Trump had to go through extraordinary means. At Deutsche Bank, and we know there, that's, right. that bank is not like the best bank right now, is one of the few banks that would lend the money. So none of these guys would lend the money because they didn't trust him from a business standpoint. They didn't think he was a very good business. But they all criticize the president's demeanor and all this, but then they end up sounding like, I'm smarter than he is. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. But, I, but a part of this is jealousy. They wouldn't put him on their boards. They don't think he's that smart. He became president. Right. Then they all think they could become president, and they have this little bit of, a, um, a, a, of, a, of an anim animosity to him. But in Jamie's defense, though, I will tell you this. Jamie's a free trader. Jamie's a pretty straight-talking guy. Uh, my and, and I and in, I know he doesn't like the crudeness coming out of the White House. My guess. Uh, well, Jamie Dimon has been piping up about politics and the president and a whole lot more. Charlie Gasparino on that. Hey, Charlie. Jamie said. What did he <laughs> say? I mean, he he. First of all, it was Jamie Dimon commenting. He was at some internal private right. meeting at, at J.P. Morgan at, at around uh, I would say it was around 11 o'clock today. And he started, I guess he was asked a question about his uh, future, whether he's going to spend it in politics or do whatever. Uh, and then he starts, he starts doing his Im imitation of Trump a little bit. I mean, it was interesting. You and I had this conversation beforehand. And these guys get down in that in the mud with him. It's kind of not a smart thing to do. He went out and he said, listen, he was, I'm paraphrasing, but he said, this is the, sum, the substance of it, that unlike Trump, he made a lot of money on his own. Right. You know, intimating that Trump was born on third base and thinks he hit a triple with his father giving him the bucks. And then he said uh, he said that he could probably beat him, you know, and, and he, can, he can beat him in, if they were running against each other because he's actually tougher, really tough. He said I'm smarter than he is. Smarter than he is, too. Uh, I, I remember the tough part. Did he say smart, too? <laughs> so what, what's going on And then he backtracked after that a, said yeah. I should have said this. He said he should have said it. Just shows you I wouldn't be a good cop politician. We do have a statement of his. Up right. There, there you go. Should not have said it. I'm yeah. not running for president, yeah. but he did leave that open there, and he's been I'll let you, I'll dangling you. this in the past. But right. but is it your sense that the this is, that really angers him, and it and plus he wants to be president, and it came out today in a Freudian slip, in my view, or maybe not so Freudian. Slip. Maybe not. Maybe not. Riddle wrapped in a conundrum. Jamie, That's Freud, losers. <laughs> <laughs> Bloom is off the rose between these two things. Because in the beginning, it looked well, we like were, they were, you know, I think in, over in trade. Cahoots. And I think you and I, I, I <laughs> we have a crew member here, by the way. It's Marco's fault because he yeah, makes yeah, me do this. He stuff. does it very, very good, uh, Donald Trump. We're going to just leave it at that. 